identified two individuals. Uh, the first one is Francis Mutahura, who was the chairman of the National Security Advisory Committee. And as such, he authorized the police to use excessive force against civilians in Kisumu and Kibera. They were shooting and killing more than 100 people that they didn't identify as supporters of the other party, of the ODM party. The second tactic they implement was to make an agreement with the Mungiki and other groups and let them to attack the civilians. This was facilitated by Mr. Kenyatta, who was the focal point between the Mungiki, who is a group in Kenya, and the Party of National Unity. And so Mr. Kenyatta's role was to facilitate the activity of the Mungiki, and Mr. Mutaura and Ali's role was to let them to commit the crimes. Mr. Ali was the head of the police in Kenya in those days. So these are the six names we identified as the person who should face justice. They are still innocent. We are just presenting our, the prosecutor evidence. The judge will decide. Um, we request a summons to appear because we believe give them an opportunity to lead, to face the responsibility to give back, to uh, present to the judges their own arguments. But there are conditions for that. They cannot be involved in the commission of any new crime. They cannot be interfering with the investigation. They cannot threat the witness. They cannot bribe the witness. If we found they are doing that type of activities, we will request an arrest warrant against them. So basically now the judges will decide, but in the meantime, these six individuals should make clear what your if they are willing to appeal for the court and follow these rules, or if not, in this case, the prosecutor will request to the judges to issue an arrest warrant. That again we presented. Uh, we have a can you can you move please? Okay. No no. These are the names, uh, it's a little small for you, but if you need uh, some verification, these are the names of the six individuals that according to our evidence were the written responsibility. If you have any questions, I'm willing to answer you. Question? Questions from the floor? Yes. My name is Rita, I work for NTV in Kenya. My question is, what kind of cooperation do you expect from the Kenyan government? Are there any indications that they will cooperate with you? The Kenyan government is cooperating, and we have a great support. We appreciate very much the role of the president and the prime minister on this, and different ministers who are working for us, with us. Now we have to ensure that, uh, because some of these people are still enjoying official power, that to be sure they are not using their power to interfere with the investigation. That for me is the most important, the crucial issue now. Next question. Um, Mr. Uh, Prosecutor, you have named the six as being... Yes, Beatrice Marshall, KTN, Kenya TV. You have named the six as the ones being uh, uh, most uh, responsible, responsible, yes. And you have asked them not to uh, be involved uh, in other, in other um, crimes, otherwise you will issue warrants of arrest. And yet, of course, the, the crimes in Kenya were committed, not just in these other two places, but across uh, the country. How did you identify these other six apart from the rest of the country? Okay, let me show. We have a different analysis, and this is exhibit one, showing uh, the one of the aspects of the of the crime committed. These are the um, people displaced, and you will see different locations, and the circles show the magnitude. 
So you can also exhibit two deaths, showing the number of people who were killed in those days. And also you see in Mombasa different places. So you have exhibit three reported injuries and more than 3,300 people. And then sexual violence. Sexual violence is interesting. It's just attributed to the um, Mr. The, the, the police force and the Mungiki forces. Not in the crimes committed. We are not charging sexual crimes to Mr. Ruto, Mr. Coxie, or Mr. Sang. So, what we did, we just tried to identify all the crimes committed. We just tried to identify some of them who, who commit, whether the group committed crimes. Some of them are clearly, some of them are more, less clear, that's why we focus on some incidents. Uh, that samples of the crimes committed in Kenya in those days, and then we try to identify, okay, who organized this? We found evidence that Mr. Ruto, Mr. Koski, and Mr. Sang were involved in this preparation of the crimes for a couple of years before. And also we saw how the, some members of the government reacted also with the idea to commit crimes against those who they perceived as the enemies because they were supporting a different party. So we are not saying these are the only people who are involved in the crimes. We are saying according to our evidence and our criterion, these people are the most responsible. Um, prosecutor, we have a question uh, from Capital FM, Judy Kabira in Nairobi, who is asking how soon will the prosecutor indict the six individuals, take them to court? No, the process is we request to the judge to issue a summons to appear. The judge will decide. The judge can accept my request, can transform it in a warrant, or the judge can reject my request. This is the judge's decision. Uh, my name is James Magaga from K24 TV Nairobi, Kenya. My question is, uh, you have indicated that uh, you do not want uh, the suspects to have personal contact with each other. And uh, if you look at the list, for example, Ali, who is the post of operation boss, is uh, directly working with Mdaura as the head of civil service. Can you please clarify what you mean by this personal contact? This is according with the law. Suspects should not have connection between them because they cannot conspire to interfere with the investigation. So that's why, yes, this, this request will probably have to be taken into consideration by them to see how they manage in the future. Yes, this is a request. They cannot conspire, they cannot be in conversation to discuss this issue this case. They can talk to they have they can appoint lawyers, they can make legal arguments, that is a way to discuss this issue. Um, Alex Chamana from Citizen TV in Nairobi, Kenya. Um, there is, that was who were asking there is a process or an, a, an, a bit to initiate another process in Kenya, local tribunal. How does this impact on this process here? And secondly why it's always important. Hello, my apologies. Okay. This is Chamada from Citizen TV. There is a bid to initiate another process in Nairobi, a local tribunal. How does this impact on the process? Secondly, what do you tell those who think that this is political, what you are doing is not professional, it's not politically motivated? Thank you. On well, the first issue, Kenya can decide what to do with the other people who would be involved in this crime. There are many. As you see, it's not a, I'm not saying these are the only persons who are responsible. I'm saying these are the most responsible. But of course, there are many others, as in normal in our activities, there are many people who commit massive atrocities. So our point is to focus on those most responsible. That's what we did. According to our evidence, these six are the person more responsible according to our evidence. Of course, Kenya can decide to investigate more, and they can do it in the way they propose. For me, it's, it's, it's absolutely a Kenyan decision and the Kenyan first decision. I would say in court, in this court, these are our cases. And we have, I believe, we have jurisdiction on these cases. Of course, the defense can challenge that. The defense has the right to make the arguments. And if they believe I have no evidence, it's just a political statement, I work for them in court. I work for them in court. I will present my evidence in court. I will not discuss my evidence in the media. But I explain to you the rationale of our decision, why we believe the six persons are so important in the, prepar in the preparation and implementation of the grants. 
Thank you. We have the same question from uh, KBC Television. We've just asked the question. Any more questions from the floor? Yes. Accept your request. Will you push for summons or warrants of arrest? No, I requested summons to appear, but I also did, but I'm very clear on the condition that I have to be fulfilled. So now it's a matter for the six individuals named to to decide. In some of the cases, Mr. Ruto proposed that he will appear before the court. So I will say okay, but. The condition include that no one can attack the witness, no one can threaten the witness, no one can bribe, try to bribe witnesses, alleged witness or proposed witness. So it's more than just a commitment to come. They have to be proper behavior. If not, then we transform the request for someone to appear in a request for an arrest warrant. And and though, but additionally, I'd like to put on use this opportunity to put on notice. Those who are not identified here, those who are not involved in these crimes, but someone else who is trying to affect the investigation could also be prosecuted by the International Criminal Court. Affecting the investigation of the International Criminal Court could be considered a crime that could be presented before the judges. So no one can affect the witness. 